You see? The British them never know nothing about the Tyrian. But they were the ones who were equipped, who were given guns and sword and uniforms to return people like Three Finger Jack, kill Taki them, so forth and so on. Because, it, come on, you know this 90, 90 degrees weather, how, how much fighting the British them could have do against so many Africans? You see? So there's no apology. You see? <laughs> no apology ever from the Maroons them for that action. How the action with them take they took against Africans when they ran away by returning them. This man come actually justify what happened by calling the ancestors them fugitives and criminals in another one of his statements. They were fugitives and criminals that we had a deal to return. You see? So now is no longer a warm welcome to the British people them, to the crown people them, to, 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 to the future king. It's no, it's no longer warm welcome because what? Them never put him on the itinerary. So now, if all talks fail, fail, it's time for war. It's time to fight. It's time to launch a revolution. So, what happened? What did Captain Corey Martin did today? Captain Corey Martin pulled off a L.A. Lewis. He pulled off a seven. <laughs> is you see when L.A. Lewis do it, it's 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 like satire. When when L.A. Lewis do do it, it's like well I will laugh. Well I will laugh, you know, and find L.A. Lewis like yeah, what kind of L.A. Lewis go out there and I. And I say, welcome my family member them. I welcome my brother and my sister them. And I burn him sage and I welcome him people them. And of course, you know, <laughs> you know what happened to the seven. See? But it's funny to us when the seven do this. You see? It's, seven to us. it's funny to us when the seven do this. But of course, you take it serious when a man will go to school. A man who used to have a, 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 a corporate job. You take it, you take it, you take it serious and I, and I talk about, well done. Well done where? Well done what? So the, what happened today was a L.A. Lewis move. This whole attire and this life that was put on. Now if you are the leader of your government, if you are the head of a government, you are the chief of staff, you see? You are the chief of staff, you know. Right? You have an attorney general in your constitution, with a part of your constitution, the name, one of the name, one of the position up there, you have a, you have a, you have a, you know? Attorney general. If you have an attorney general, you must have a justice system. You have no justice system up there. You see? Because a policeman just shoot a youth up there and the policeman have to go. To the courts then in a jamaica right the pol a, a government come lock him up so we know seeing a justice system up there you see maybe have a justice system for beat to look a man yeah when them when them when them not turn off them sound system i be too look a man when them no go out in bed So what happened today? L.A. Lewis, no, not L.A. Lewis. Captain, Captain Cory Goat came down to the British High Commission with a brown envelope. And a bag of man or some man blow some vuvuzeli. For what reason? Now this is like who is in power now? This is like um, 
This is like Joe Biden trying to get some form of discourse with a leader of another country for a piece of land that they have a dispute over. And who you think got to the meeting with somebody, some Vuvuzeli? <laughs> Joe Biden. But when Joe Biden, the meeting that Joe Biden, Joe Biden is a leader for a, a sovereign state. And Joe Biden is going to meet, going to give an envelope to another person of a sovereign state. And he, he and some man, it's some Vuvuzeli, with some Vuvuzeli. <laughs> Go down to the, the embassy. Go down to the embassy and the high commission and drop off an envelope. Forget a photo up. Now that thing say, is a bike man that do that. I that thing say, there would be a taxi man or there would be somebody will carry out the mails and for drop off that. That is like taking away the, the mailman job. You have to come all the way from a compound to go to another sovereign state to drop off an envelope by yourself. You the leader for your sovereign state. You never have no bike man to drop off the envelope. <laughs> you never have a taxi man to drop off the envelope. You never have a mail van. Now you have a sovereign state and you don't have no means of a transport, a letter, or a transfer a letter. Then why you had to go to the British High Commission to drop off an envelope? Wouldn't you, a leader of your sovereign state, have some form of connection with the royal family, or with the royal state, or with the, or with whatever in England, Buckingham Palace? You don't have no address for them or no P.O. box for them. <laughs> Yeah, you can't make this up. But you are going on. It's attention deficit disorder. Is that the problem, you know? Attention deficit disorder. That is what is happening here. <laughs> Somebody say stamp expensive. You see? What what it's like let us agree to disagree upon the purpose of the Maroons. Because some people reverence the Maroons and, and because of nanny story and so forth. But the people who reverence the Maroon movement, this is not a good look. It's like 300 years of preservation of a culture just looks stupid. Just look like, yo, somebody doing some things to get photo. Some photo ops. Done. It's like, you know, look good. Like, come on, we're the mailman. You drop off a letter and you need it alive and some vuvuzeli and some big maroon looking, I don't know if a maroon clothes them there or you're advertising, I don't know. But come on, it could have just be done with like, yo, drop off that envelope here down at the British High Commission. You never have it. Because it don't look good. It don't look good because first you started out giving a warm welcome to the prince. Yeah? Then it moves from that to all. Oh, we are going to, we are going to, we are going to join tomorrow with fellow, fellow slaves, our former slaves, forget apology, and we want, we want our money with them owe we. To you just dropping off a letter over the British High Commission. For a reason. But again, the higher the monkey climb, and the more it's behind exposed. And the only reason why I speak out about this and keep speaking about this, it's because you take every opportunity you get for disrespect the true fighters them will take us out of slavery or force the hands of the oppressors them because they were losing too much. The only reason why I continue on the story and keep talking about the story is not because of you because I try quote unquote bring you down. Because me have no interest or no me have a horse in the race up a up a Okampong. Whichever leader is there, it have nothing to do with me. You see? My reason for calling you out or calling out the movement when we see you put together, which I think, I believe personally, that it can be, it, it can be very detrimental to, 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 um, to, to, to security. 
The only reason I may call you out is because you take every opportunity you get for disrespect the ancestors them fight. And now you come ask the apology for we. Like you take with, like you take with some idiot. Like you take the descendants them from the true warriors them for some idiot, for some clowns. Like, one minute you reverence the treaty, a tabo you pay homage to the treaty, a tabo the treaty is sacred, to now come talk about you are going to demonstrate with we. Forget an apology. When the Maroons them, we used to work with the British them, don't apologize yet. So who you want to apologize? Kit and the prince? They were not alive either. So the people who say, oh, move on and forget about it. But the, the people you want to apologize to you today, they were not alive. And the queen, she, she, she was she, she, well, 52 till now. She do 70 years. So she can't come see a plantation already, you know, a run. So even though she was... You know, it's still a plantation owner. But we could say, yo, she never start the plantation. So why should she apologize? If the Maroons them, no fee apologize. That, 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 that is the argument, you know. If, if the argument is, we not go apologize because I never, we did a sell nobody, I return nobody back to them owner. Yeah? Then why should the British people them apologize? If they were not alive either. You see, it don't make sense. It don't make any sense. But it only makes sense for followers them. Where follow you blindly. Like the three blind mice. So once you got talk about apology from the British state, then the Maroon them have to apologize too. For we the descendants of the true warriors them. We started the, Sham the Sam Sharp Rebellion. The Maroons them have to apologize for capturing Paul Bogle. And make them kill him. When he made up launch the Morant Bay Rebellion, they must apologize. You see? The Maroon they must apologize for killing Three Finger Jack and tacky them. You see? So maybe you're at that point now if you want the British them to apologize. And maybe it's a good time now to apologize before you ask us now to come join with you because you want money. This is how your beer face, you know. This is how your beer face and bright and presumptuous. You want us to get an apology, but you want to be paid your debt with them owe you. You want to pay them debt with them owe. Excuse me. You don't want an apology for slavery. Because, of course, you're not the descendant of no slaves. But which DNA test you take to prove, say, you are a maroon? What makes you more of a maroon than me? Or any negro where you live in this part of the earth? Yeah? Because maybe you did born in a, one of them parishes yeah, and you go up a maroon town and then vote you in. Which in you're not legitimately on the throne or you're not legitimately, you know, in, in the position where you're at. Because the governor general is supposed to appoint you based on you talking about the treaty. Because it's stated in the treaty that you must be appointed by the governor general and you were not. So you can't even get no audience from them, the British state, because the governor general controls Jamaica. I him deal with Jamaica for the queen. So you can't even get no audience, you know. You can't get them to visit you or talk to you, you know. Because you never got through the governor general for appoint you. If the governor general had appointed you, then you could have maybe get a sit down with them. Them now go go against Andrew Holness and the governor general for talk to you. But here we go. If L.A. Lewis did I do this now, we'd have laughed. But of course, is more than one thing, the peacock syndrome. Because when I look at a woman they will follow you, they see a strong lion where they want to breed for. So the peacock syndrome. So you think you can turn off and turn on when you talk 
negatively about the ancestors them are disrespectful about our ancestors them because you have celebrity I like you post them and I big you up and I gas you up if you make your things are the right thing you do without somebody sit you down and talk to you and say humble thyself because if you have if you keep exalting yourself you know what I got you all look stupid boy here and right now you're not looking good. I don't know if them not tell you. But somebody from Maroon Town, Daniel or one of them, need to sit you down. And say, maybe you have good intentions. Maybe you mean good. But right now it don't look good. With you are come now after less than a month a talk about sacred treaty. And you're paying homage. And a talk about hashtag Hannah. The royal family. We still have we in a bandage. You... I give a warm welcome to the royal family who still have winner bandage. But now, when them not give you no attention, you want to turn it around now. I'm talking you want apology from them for we. Here we We don't want an apology. We don't want an apology. We're fine. At least me, no want an apology. I mean, a few wise people, no want an apology. We want reparation. That we want. We don't need an apology. And the reparation, if it should manifest, you can't go to the government for use it, build a road. You can't go to the government for use it, quote unquote, build schools. And tell you, say, oh, our children are going to benefit from it. We want reparation, but we don't want to go to the state. So we can't start talking about reparation yet because if they give reparation, they're going to give it to the government. And the government are going to tell us, they're going to drop taxes, they're going to build houses, and all them something for poor people. So maybe you don't see a dollar. You see? So in truth, the only thing we have is us. The only thing we have is the truth. So we ancestors them give with a freedom yeah. So we now not change but we hand. And the prince and the woman can come here. Come visit them plantation. <laughs> but we ancestors them fight the fight. So we now have the chains them pan we hand and pan we foot. You see? And that we give thanks. Huh? And we good with that. We will go and work. And the plantation. And be the best we can be. We don't need you to come farm starting a revolution for we. We don't want you to come come enforce no apology for we. Ah, for me. Because we know enough of people want you to enforce apology for them. So man can rent bus, truck, car and van. To join you in your fake demonstration. You see? I don't know how you still have up a post. You're so beer faced and presumptuous and disrespectful to my ancestors them. When you still have up a post where two nigger with a duck gun have a white man and direct them for what? For you post. So you're paying homage and you give reverence to a sacred treaty of 1738. You still have up that post, but in the same platform or upon the same platform, you are asking the apology. For what? You are joining us to ask for an apology upon the same platform where you would depend. I talk about the, the treaty was sacred. The treaty was say, return all runaways. The treaty was going to a piece of land. To capture runaways and bring them back to the plantation. You see? You reverence that. But you come tell me now, say, you want to fight for our, for we get an apology. Tom junk, but Tom no fool. You see? Fool me once, <laughs> fool me twice, three times I'm here the fool. You see? 
So, I know you're getting a lot of support from your celebrity, them. But I want you. <laughs> I go keep burning fire upon you. Maybe one day when you apologize, Mister, big up on yourself, people. One love.